Hi, this is Traveling for Manta. Today I'll show you what to do when you find something growing on the surface of your homemade miso. Even if the top of your miso looks ugly like this, no worries, it's still edible. You might find yeast or mold, but remove them with a clean spoon. If you are not sure what you have on your miso, please check out my homepage first. I wrote about what is yeast and mold and more. Please find the link below this video. So, if you see hairy mold and it has something tiny and round on its hair, it's spores. It's good to put a wet kitchen paper on it and wipe away first. Because spores can fly and there's a risk of inhaling them. If you are not sure about the spores, it's good to apply this way. Okay, take the spoon and scrape the part you don't want and also a bit of miso underneath. I know it's a bit spoiling, but it's good to give extra care if you have mold on the surface. Okay, number two. If the thing on the surface touches the container, please wipe that part with strong alcohol. Usually, I use Japanese distilled alcohol called shochu, which is like vodka. So, something like 35% ABV is suitable for sterilizing. Number three, taste your miso to see if you want to ferment it more. If you are satisfied with the taste, it's good to keep it in a fridge to slow the fermentation. In that case, you don't need to put the weight on the top. Number four, after the cleaning, it's good to put the removed bits in a plastic bag to throw them away. Number five, if you've decided to keep fermenting your miso, carefully put the clean plastic wrap on the surface. Make sure if you don't trap much air between the miso and the film. Alright, next, number six, if you see the size of the wrap, come out from the container, it's good to fold them in for avoiding the leakage of tamari. Number seven, place a way to cover the surface. I usually use a pack of salt because it's easy to fit any shape of containers. Number eight, cover the container with a sheet of paper and tie the top with a string or a band. But now your miso is ready for further fermentation and less chance for you to see the moldy surface. Okay, thanks for watching guys. Have a lovely fermentation. Bye!